welcome back to RC Icons. In this video, we're going to start finishing my original Thundershot from 1987. So, unless you've been living under a rock, um, <laughs> you know the Thundershot. So it was, I don't want to say reread, but they did another run of them last year, 2022, I believe. Um... I think it says 2022 on the box. They also reread it back, I think, in 2005. And then they may have done a run in 2012 as well. I might be wrong on the 2005. But regardless, they've done a couple of rereads or renditions since the original back in 87. So kit 58067 uh, was the original part number. This one is obviously original. It's set up with the mechanical speed control. The resistor needs to be screwed in place. It's just kind of flopping around in there. Um, I bought this built already. Um, got the kit box, the original decals. I think I actually have another set of original decals as well. And I had sent Glenn a set at one point too. Uh, I also have the rear anti-sway bar hop up from back in the day like the old school one not one that was like taking out of a uh, terror scorcher terror scorcher um yeah it is a terror scorcher i'm thinking i said terror conqueror yeah not not a terror scorcher one you can buy those people will part a terror scorcher kit and they'll sell the rear anti-sway bar as a hop-up option but it doesn't have like the rc tag on it so i've got an original one from back in the day as well as um the other upgrade is to eliminate the dog bones and put uj's in it so i've got an original hop-up set that comes with the new outdrives i sent glenn two sets of those and then i've got a bunch of just single drive shafts they almost look like They've got Tamiya packaging, but they almost look like China knockoffs. I bought them from Jazz Hobby. I've got a ton of them. I'll show you when, when we get to it. You guys will have to tell me in the comments what you think if they're actual Tamiya. They look exactly like the Tamiya UJs from back in the day. The packaging is what's throwing me off. Um, if, it's a, if it's a copy, they did a hell of a good job, I'll be honest. Um, side point they are the same uj's that fit the top force so if you were looking for uj's for your thundershot and you wanted them to be the old style looking ones uh, not the ones with the pin and spring if you can find original top force uj's they will fit your thundershot they're the same uh, millimeter length so i also have this is the kit box for the car i also have a wing I think they came out of a 2000, the reason I'm thinking 2005, there was a, a hop-up wing option for the Thundershot back in the day. Glenn had put one on his uh, original Thundershot when he did it on his channel years ago. And it got put on, actually Gavin's got one too. It was put on with uh, zip ties. And the mount was very different. It, the wing was zip tied to the mount. It was... Uh, super cool i thought it was cool just because of how unique it was i do have an original wing that's painted silver but i don't have the mount for it and then i have the wing so when you bought the kit in i think 2005 2012 and 2022 it actually came with the hop-up wing in the box but it did not have that unique wing mount it just gets bolted to the top of the body. So definitely a different setup from the original one. Now I have one of those wings from a 2005 Riri that I was debating putting on this body. But this is an original body. So once I put holes in it, that's it. It's over. So I have not decided yet whether or not I want to hold out for one of those original wing mounts. Because in reality, that's what I'd like to have with the four uh zip ties or i drill holes in this original body and put the riri wing on it with the nuts and bolts the way that it tells you to in the riri manual now that would be taking an original car that's 100 percent original with original hop-ups and 
putting the wing on in a re-re fashion was making it look like a re-re version. Now, 99% of the people out there probably wouldn't care. And for years I called myself a non-purist, but I think I would have a hard time with that. Uh, I do love the look of the Thundershot with the wing. I love it the way it is. I also love it with the wing. So I'm not sure if we'll mount the wing. I'm still kind of on the fence about that. Um, I may just have to keep holding out and hopefully I'll find that wing mount someday and then I can mount it the right way. And then the other part of that equation, and we can look at the wings that I have, is does, is the Riri wing set up and look the same as the original wing that calls for those four zip ties? Because if not, then I'm going to have to strip the silver paint off of my original wing to paint it white in the event that I find the brackets so that it all is meshing the way it's supposed to. I know, it's a lot. <laughs> Let me bring the camera over. We'll take a look at the new unbox kit that I have so that we can see presentation. Uh, Thundershot's actually a good one. It's one whole side of it is blister pack. Um, so we'll look at the new unbox kit and then we'll take a look at this car and all the various parts that I have for it. And then we'll dive into this, although I'm still kind of undecided as to what direction I'm going to go with it. Um, I'm definitely doing box art with the white and blue. Um, so the silver wing isn't going to work. And then I don't have that wing mount. And then I'm absolutely doing tire writing on this car. Because with the four off-roaders, it uh, sets it off. And then I can't remember if it was Simon Burke. Someone had sent me a new marker to try. Because I was complaining about the Sharpie ones where I get like two sets of tires out of it and then the paint won't flow right and it becomes a big mess so someone had given me this uh pika permanent pen um it's like a paint pen instant white so we're gonna try that on these ones i think it's actually gonna work pretty well it's it's not as fine of a tip but i think it flows better so um we'll have to see let me bring the camera over we'll get started talk to lot in the opening. <laughs> See you in a second. So like I said in the opening, kit 58067. There's your box art, original box art for the Tamiya Thundershot. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Love the look of it. Um, it is a, a different looking car, but back in the day, this being the first in the family to be produced on this chassis must have been just absolutely insane. I can totally understand why Glenn was just so excited as a teenager, early teenager, going to get this kit for the first time uh, with his dad. Um, if you haven't heard that story, you should go back to some of Glenn's earlier videos when he talks about his uh, his upbringing and taking that bus ride with his dad to go pick up his kit at uh, Otley Models. Cool story. So yeah, kit 58067. Um first of the Thundershot family chassis of cars and then when you opened it up excuse me this was the presentation that you were met with so you get your original Thundershot manual which is absolutely cool as hell and then this was the presentation of the kit so along the lines of the earlier kits you had the center placard with the chassis underneath Everything is stapled to it with your decal set inside. Your wheels are in there and your uh, driver figure as well. And then you got your blister pack section with your out drives, your dog bones, motor, uh, resistor, speed control. Looks like your small bevel gears and your large bevel gears for your diff, 15 tooth pinion, and uh, your propeller joints, your counter shaft, and then all your original parts big bumper um, on this side the blue arms and everything underneath so super super cool and then inside your box was your tires your front sway bar because it came with a front but no rear the drivers actually in this box the parts bags your bushing set, because it didn't come with bearings. Your driver, which was also kind of your electrics protector. 
and then your tires, your propeller shaft, your uh, front drive cups or uh, uprights, and then your three oil shocks, springs. So yeah, just, just a time capsule, super cool. I love new unbox kits, and uh, as you guys know, and for me it's just super cool to be able to open this stuff up and uh, essentially have a kit for almost every car I own, which is insane. So yeah, that's the kit itself. I don't even remember where this one came from. I don't think it was Taiwan Kenny. I think that was just a separate eBay buy and so was this. I think I absolutely stole this car when I bought it. It was under it was under 500 for an original Thundershot built never finished. It's dusty. The body needs a good cleaning. The center body clip is always a tough one to get just because it's down in the shell of the body here. Definitely could go with a bent one, would be a better option. So, super thin body, um, already cut out by the previous owner. Looks great, no yellowing or anything. It's literally just got dust on it. And then the uh, resistor gets mounted up here in the back for whatever reason. It wasn't it wasn't mounted. Um, and then it sits. You are supposed to cut this section of the body off so that the resistor will sit there. And the previous owner did not cut that section off. I am actually going to, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to cut that off or not. I probably should. This this is just a shelfer, so I might as well cut that section of body out and mount the resistor in the correct place. But the car itself is, like I said, brand new. It's got the correct three-step in there. Um, your blue arms, not a mark on the bottom of the car. Being new built, that's to be expected. And then I'm pretty sure that the car is not ball raced, which is fine because, like I said, it's just going on the shelf. It does have oil in the shocks. Everything feels great. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to uh, turn the camera off here and get started. I want to see what this screw is for, too, because there's a screw that's popped out a little bit for some reason. I don't, it must be some kind of a... A bracket unless that's for the cover maybe that the cover goes down and that gets screwed on this couple of holes there's a couple of screws that are sticking out and I'm assuming it's for the cover because I think the cover snaps in and then screws down and that's supposed to cover you know your servo your front servo and uh, and everything else I'm probably not gonna put a servo in it just because I'm not going to run it. In this one, the tires hold themselves pretty good. It's not like they flop around. Um, if they flopped around like crazy, then I would entertain the thought of putting a servo in it. But for 14 bucks or whatever, we'll, uh, we'll just leave it alone because it's just going to sit in the cabinet and it looks fine. We are going to break the car apart to a certain point. That's right. I wanted to show you the parts. So uh, to a certain point, we're going to break this down. And we're going to put the period correct hop ups. So, like I was saying in the opening, so this is an original 87 hop up wing. And you can see where it has the four holes, the eight holes for the four zip ties. So, basically, there was a, there was an arm that went underneath the wing. And then the zip ties came through one hole, back down the corresponding hole, making a loop, and that would get that would get zip tied down onto the bars that were underneath that would hold the wing. So very unique setup. I've never seen any other car set up like that. 
So in the box we have another drive. Well, this is the driver. We have the aerial. We have the driver. We've got. This is the exploded view of the thunder shot. This did not come in the kit. This was something that someone had put in this box later. But it's one of those big exploded views, which is cool as hell. Um, that'd be cool to frame and throw in the wall. So we have that. We have the original Thundershot rear stabilizer set from 1987. So that's cool as hell. I mean, just the packaging and everything, right? So that's going on the car. We have the driver's head. Looks like the leftover grease. Um, and then the arms for the servos for the, uh, for the uh, servos for steering and the mechanical speed control are in that bag. We have our original Thundershot decal set. And then I've got an MCI set because the MCI set has the decals for the rear wing. So the MCI set comes with the pushing more decal and then the two stripes and then the racing team uh, bullets that goes on the side. So those decals would have come with the wing hop up back in the day. MCI does it as part of their Thundershot decals that they sell. So I do have an MCI sheet for those decals. And then this is... So the wing is different. Uh, is it different? It's not different. It is to a certain point. So this is the wing set from... I believe it's 2005. When they did the re-re, they came out... It came with the wing and it shows you here how to mount it and you actually screw it to the body versus using the four zip ties. If I used this wing, if I had the original mount, I would have to drill the holes or put the holes in for the wing mount itself. But I'm really torn uh, as far as putting that on the original body without the original wing mount. So I may hold off on that and keep looking a little while longer. And then these are the original UJ hop-ups for the Thundershot. And it comes with new outdrives, although the outdrives don't need to be changed. I'm not sure why they sent new outdrives in the hop-up option. Um, the original outdrives will work because at some point they were selling just the drive shafts. Now when you look at this, it says universal drive shaft for 58067. It's got the stars, it's written hop up option. It looks exactly the same, but it's kind of a blank back. Now Jazz Hobby was selling these and Jazz Hobby is in China. I have a ton of them. A ton, like probably 12 of them here. Now, I'll probably, I'll have to look. I'm not sure if I'll use this set or not. Um, but these measure up. They're exactly the same. And they look exactly the same. They're the old style UJ, like the in the Egress and the Top Force and the, the Terra Scorcher. Um, and they're exactly the same as the Thundershot ones. So, to me, they look real. But at the same time, they look like they could be copied <laughs> so you'll have to tell me what you think in the comments obviously it's going to be hard for you looking at it over a camera but yeah that's essentially the plan um i'll take a couple sets of these out just to just in case i use these instead of actually i'm going to use one of those are all so these ones are in like a thinner bag that's the ones that make me think that it might be copied whereas these ones feel like they're in like a regular tamia bag so there was that one this one is in the thinner bag one two three four we'll keep four of those out 
So I'm going to get started ripping the car apart and figuring this out. Like I said, we've got drive shafts to change, we've got tire writing to do, we've got a body to paint and decals, we've got a driver figure that needs to be done. So there's a fair amount of work that needs to get done to this car. And then obviously there's a wing as well that we still are on the fence about. So not sure we'll or where we will end up at the end of this, but it'll definitely look a lot different. And it'll be a, a car that's kind of complete as far as the collection goes in the cabinets. So I will see you back here in a bit um, with something to show you that's different. And we'll just take it step by step. So it's absolutely insane that the original oil... <laughs> not Well, the oil is in here, but... It's like they didn't use the original grease when they built the car. I don't know if they used... Yeah, none of these are open. So that's Tamiya grease. Switch lubricant. The uh, Someone built the servo saver, but did not install it. And then the piece I need, driver's head. And then uh, screw bags and uh, servo rods are, are in there. So yeah, I'll see you back here in a second with something to show you. All right, I figured I'd bring you back and show you where I'm at with this thing. I, uh, I'm doing it in reverse. I think Glenn did it this way too when he did his back in the day, whatever it was, two years ago. But I'm going to paint the white first and then the blue probably gonna have to go silver over the white um, just so that the blue doesn't come through the white usually you do it in reverse but if you think about it I'd have to I'd have to mask off all of that white and then everything that's masked would be open to paint the blue um, and it's a ton more work so right wrong or indifferent we're gonna go blue first and then white and then what else have I done so the chassis I sanded the head to get rid of the seam. I didn't want the seam to be raised, so I sanded the driver's head. And then the chassis is done short of tire riding. So rear sway bar is in here. And then there's UJs. The old style UJs are in all four corners now. Uh, car feels great. Those UJs worked perfectly. So at this point, short of uh, dual front shocks, I think it's got all of the upgrades that would have had available back in the day. Again, no ball bearings in the car, but that's because I'm not running it. So I'm going to get ready to start spraying the white on the body. I've got to get the driver's figure painted. Um, I forget what colors it shows. It shows the driver figure painted, but it doesn't, it says paint figure as you like. So I'm going to follow the box and I'm going to go with a white suit, red buckles, blue, uh, blue gloves, black steering wheel, and then silver helmet um, with a black rim. So right, wrong, or indifferent, that's what I'm going to do. I do have a bunch of the original gold wheels from back in the day. Right, the old hop-up wheels. I think I've got three sets, so I could conceivably put a set of gold wheels on the Thundershot, but I don't know that it really looks great on the Thundershot. I think it looks great on the Terra Scorcher, but I don't know how I feel about it being on the Thundershot. So for now, I'm just going to leave it with the black wheels. Um, and I'll put a set of gold probably on my Terra Scorcher. I do think it looks good on the Terra Scorcher. I know Gavin has gold on his Thundershot. 
and uh, it looks okay. Don't get me wrong, but I, I just I don't know that it looks better than the black ones. Um, I'm gonna get going on a tire writing. If I didn't already say that, I'm gonna get going on a tire writing as I'm painting the body as well. So that's kind of an update as to where I'm at. I'll bring you back here in a second, probably with a painted body, and we'll be getting into decaling, and uh, we'll get this thing wrapped up here shortly. So I'll see you back here in a second with uh, hopefully a painted body and a bit of an update. And then I'm going to get everything kind of put away in the box here. I'm not going to mess with that wing for now. I'm just going to leave it alone. And hope I can find that mount someday. And then I don't think I need... I don't think I need any hardware. So I can put all of this hardware away. So yeah, that's going to do it. I'll see you here in a second. The painted body. Well... So much for bringing you back with a painted body. It's been like, I don't know. I shot the last clip before Thanksgiving and it is December 7th. <laughs> I just have no time to be up here right now. Uh, I'm absolutely swamped with work, swamped. And it's gonna be like this all winter. I, I literally am debating dropping down to one video a week again for the winter just because I've got like 10 11 videos in queue and uh I'm not going to be able to maintain that um not if I'm building the studio along with my workload I'm absolutely slammed um which is a good thing don't get me wrong but it the you uh, my the hobby time is suffering I mean, literally, it's taking me two and a half, three weeks to do the Vanquish. Same with the Thundershot. So it's like I'm trying to restore these cars or at least even just paint the body. It's taking me three weeks to paint the body. You know, I mean, it's just crazy. Enough of my sob story. So if you guys see me drop down to one video a week, that's why. Um, it kind of is what it is. It's the holidays. The, the free time I have, I want to be spending with my family, not up here. Um, because I feel pressured to put a vi silly video out. Um, so yeah, I finished the body um, because it was five minutes here, five minutes there. It was no real time to to film a segment. So we'll start with the chassis. So tire writing is done. Came out great. These are easier sets of wheels to do. Uh, driver figure is done. So I matched the box. Um, I do have some black showing through the white, but I was going for that look because it looks a little bit dirty and rustic. Um, flesh on his face, but he still has his mask on, blue eyes, silver helmet. Um, can't really see the seam, so the sanding worked. So that's it for the chassis. Uh, car feels great. I bet this... I, I have... Uh, a Terra Scorcher Riri for a runner. Um, that I have not built yet. I'm going to build it at some point. I've got two Terra Scorcher originals. One needs to get built for the display cabinets, and the other one's just my new in-box collection. Um, but I also have a Terra Scorcher Riri. I had bought in a couple of them because they were cheap. I think they were like 220 bucks, uh, which I consider cheap for a four-wheel drive bearing kit with uh, oil-filled shocks and um, UJs. <laughs> That's a cheap car. Uh, I sent Adam one at Adam's Playground at one point. So I have the carbon chassis for the Thundershot that Glenn had got me a while back. So I was planning on putting that on the Riri Thunder or uh, Terra Scorcher, and that would be like that this family of car, my runner. Um, the reason I'm going off track is this thing just feels awesome, and uh, I bet it runs the balls. So I'm looking forward to building that car at some point and getting it going on a track. Uh, first thing you see in the body is I forgot to paint the front blue. Totally missed it in the directions. Decaled the whole car before I realized that I did not paint the front blue and it should have been painted blue. But it is what it is. It's an original body. I'm not stripping it. So um, decals, everything worked out great. Looks good. Uh, short of the front not being blue, it's uh, pretty perfect. Might not be cut 100% correct. Um, I didn't cut this body out, and it seems to really fit hard over the front. 
over the front body pins, but the front body pin I should say. And then I'm going to keep a lookout for an original wing. I really just need the wing mount. I have a wing that I can paint and I have the decals. Um, but I want that original wing mount. Is that really supposed to go inside? No, I was going to say, it can't go inside, but there's no room for it. So that's it, done. 1987. Five eight zero six seven. I'm gonna say all original Thunder Shot, mechanical speed controller, resistor, the whole nine yards. Feels great. It's a mile in the air, but the shocks. I mean, it it dampens. It works. So yeah, let me move the camera over for a closing. We'll wrap this one up after four weeks of messing with it <laughs> so that's going to do it for this episode of rc icons i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the look at the new unbox kit as well as me finishing this original car absolutely phenomenal um like i said it's you know you get you you have these cars in the cabinets and some of them aren't done, so you don't really appreciate them. It's just a car kind of sitting there with a clear body on it. And uh, until it gets finished like this, it just it brings it all together, right? It brings the car full circle. Tire writing, decals, the paint. Uh, absolutely awesome. Uh, love it. Love it to death. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, I'd ask you to consider subscribing um, to support us. If you could do that that would be great um we're on the cusp of 4,000, so whether we hit it or not before the year is over uh we will see um other than that usual thumbs up thumbs down typical stuff and until next time we'll see you soon thanks